Hello everyone, and welcome to another figure review. Well, actually, this one will be a figure unboxing. I'll have a review video later. It's going to be a two-part. So right now, it's going to be the unboxing, and the box is right here, and the review, which is going to be a different video set on table, and I'm going to go over all the stuff I see. This one's just going to be unboxing it and sharing what's inside the box and what is on the box and all that. So, uh, from the title, you know it. In this box, I have the uh, Ryuko Matui Beach Queens uh, figurine. It what it costs me. I got this at BigBadToyStore.com, as you can see from their uh, like stuff. I'll do it back. Big Bad Toy Store, BBTS.com. This is a Big Bad Toy Store is a Wisconsin company, and the lighting just got terrible, but. Uh, Big Bad Toy Stores is a Wisconsin company set in like northern Wisconsin, north, northwestern Wisconsin, and I'm from Wisconsin, so I'm like, you know, it's a Wisconsin company. Shipping will be pretty fast. It was. It shipped uh, Friday. It no, it shipped Thursday. Friday it shi it moved. Saturday and Sunday it did not move at all, and then today it shipped out from Elm Grove, Wisconsin, to where I live. Uh. So yeah, about two and a half days of shipping, which is pretty, not bad. But the figure itself cost me $70 uh, with, like, shipping and uh, taxes and stuff. It was, like, 81 But everywhere I looked, it was seventy. It was seventy sixty nine ninety nine or something, so $70. Uh, Big Bad Toy Store, e uh, Amazon and eBay just put this figure out uh, after, like, it was its release. Its release was in late September, but I got mine oct uh, October 6th because they delayed it because the warehouse couldn't, like, didn't get in time. It's still under pre-order right now, but, yeah. And it also says on there, fragile, handle with care. That's a cool thing. But anyways, I'm going to go over, or let's unbox this uh, figure. Sorry about that, uh... Brief interruption, the camera decided not to use the batteries that were in it. Uh, basically, and I didn't know, but I basically went ahead and opened it without the camera knowing. Uh, and there's also one other thing that I wanted to say about uh, Big Bad Toy Store. Big Bad Toy Store is, it doesn't carry everything. It carries a lot of stuff, both anime, video game, comic book, that kind of thing. Kind of nerd stuff related and they do they do have like t like good sales and clearance stuff sometimes forty dollars off of a figure or something or they might take it off like ten dollars like the Ryoko Matui uh, f uh, Figma figure and Nendodroid figures both of them like their base price was like the Nendodroid was 30 39 or 49 and then the uh, like Amazon one was like 49 or 59 It was like $10 off of what Amazon was charging, and they didn't say it was on sale. So like they do have really good pricing. This figure, I looked everywhere. It was same all across the board. No difference. So I went ahead and opened it. Uh, it came with a little card that says stuff about Big Bad Toy Store. Just kind of some of the stuff that you might see at their webs at their website. So Mario, Gundams, uh, Halo. Halo was not on there. Batman was. Transformers. Uh, they also have this thing called pile of loot, which basically is kind of you pile a bunch of stuff together. You save tons on shipping. Uh, it says combine and hold orders. Uh, add in stocks to pre in stocks to pre order shipments. Oh. Uh, will ship when you are ready so if you're not ready to pay for your pile of loot they'll hold it only for a set amount of time though and then once you're ready to pay you can say ship it and they'll ship everything in like a box and you'll save a bunch on shipping and yeah so let's go ahead and open it up it came in this kind of like I've never actually seen this kind of air packaging it's like a cushion like, you can squeeze it and it fills up other bubbles, but this is what I got. 
the Ryoku Matui Beach Queen's figure. So there she is. That's what she looks like on the inside. On the top, of course you gotta down, but it's got the kill a kill thing on top. Beach Queen's on the bottom. And then each side's got a different view of her. This side has a front view. There you go, front of Ryoku with uh, Sengetsu, or Sengetsu, Junketsu's, uh, Sengetsu, I don't, I don't remember. I know it's Junketsu, Junketsu, bleh, bleh, bleh. I just watched it last night and I can't even remember. Yeah, and then it, on the side, it, like the writing underneath, it says, Wave Corporation presents Treasure Figure Collection Beach Queen Series Kill the Kill Ryuku Matui. The bottom just got Japanese information, stuff that I can't read. Uh, this side, it's the same same wording, but you've got the back view of her. The back view of her. The back view of her. And then this, the back, just has the full figure, some other information that I can't read. Uh, it says it's PVC. It is one-tenth. It has a neck joint, so I can move her neck, it seems. And I will open it up and take it out. And just to kind of look at it, and then I'll stop the video. And then you can go take a look at my other video with the actual figure review. I'm probably going to keep this box. It's a nice box. Uh, okay, there's a little, like... Okay, so I don't know where the camera cut off. The camera decided to cut off again for some reason, but I was just saying, like, uh, there was Ultra Super Picture. There's a holographic sticker on it that says Ultra Super Pictures Official License. Just that. If you can see, it's holographic. I don't know who that is or what, but I'll just do a brief recap of what I did because I don't know where the camera stopped. You got the front display the side which is her front the back which is information that I can't read and the side uh, the back so let's go ahead and open her up okay I I'm really excited about this too I'm trying to hold in like the excitement so let's pull it's actually a bit larger than I thought because I, I measured out like how, how many centimeters it is and it looked a little I guess I knew how big it was I guess I just wasn't like expecting this but there's tape of course and oops stabbed her Now, and uh, like Big Bad Toy Store, they will they've got an option to get like a collector's edition, which is for two dollars more, you can uh, get like a nicer quality one, which is just like more mint condition. Like if you're not gonna take it out of the packaging and just display in packaging, then you do that. But here she is. Now you've got her. Uh, and I also saw that like other stores were doing like this, th like this limited or special edition for a few dollars more. You could get this tiny little scissor blade that would fit on her finger in the back right there. Like you'd just basically rest it on her finger, and she would like hold it. Oh, yeah, there's the neck or the moving, the moving head. You can kind of move it up and down a bit. It's nice. It's very nice. And you've got him. And then you have the base, which was in plastic. Textured base. And that's just it. You put her one foot on it, which has that. And then she'll stand. But...
that is basically it for this unboxing. Now, stay tuned for the review, which should be up t uh, tomorrow, actually. I'll, ha I'll just put it up, set it up for tomorrow, and you'll be able to watch that as well. So, thank you for watching, and uh, be sure to watch the video that comes after this, and that is the review of the actual figure and not the unboxing. I'll see you guys then.